Hey guys, in this video we're talking about what to do when you see a question where you have an object and it's sliding down a hill or a mountainside or an inclined plane or a ramp, something like that. So we're going to use our much well-loved Newton formula, F net equals MA, and I'll just read you the question. We've got a 10 kilogram box is sliding down a ramp. The ramp makes an angle of 20 degrees with respect to the ground. We know that the coefficient of friction is 0 0.2, and we want to know what is the acceleration of the box as it slides down the hill. So, F net equals MA. A is what we're solving for. We already know M is equal to 10 kilograms. So 10 times A equals F net. Now F net just means the sum of the forces. So we just need to think about what forces we have acting on this object. So we only really have two. We have the force of gravity pulling the box down the ramp, and then we have the force of friction in the opposite direction resisting the force of gravity. So, we need to figure out what the force of gravity is, because in this case it's not equal to mass times gravity. If the object had been dropped from a height and was free falling, the force of gravity would be mg. But, I mean, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense that they're not going to be the same. This box is going to fall to Earth in a lot more violent fashion than this box, which is just sort of gently sliding down a slope. So this force of gravity is going to be a lot less strong than had it just been dropped from some undisclosed height above the surface of the Earth. So what I would do, we're going to save that for a minute, because first I'm going to show you how to find the force of friction. So force of friction, oh, that's not an F, force of friction, we know that's equal to mu Fn. We know mu is 0 0.2, and Fn, we don't know, but we do know that Fn is usually related to mg, right? It's the same as mg, just the opposite direction. So mg, or Fn, is always perpendicular or at a 90 degree angle to the surface. So this would be Fn, and I'm just going to sort of extend it, little dotted line, and I'll show you why in a second. mg, the full force of gravity, always pulls towards the center of the Earth. So mg is pulling our object this way. The force, the or the, um, the fraction of the force pulling the ramp down is always parallel to the surface. So I'm just going to draw sort of a parallel line. This vector is parallel to this vector, also parallel to the surface. And hopefully you can see that we've got a 90 degree triangle here. This Fn is equivalent to Fn right here, and this Fg is equivalent to Fg right there in our picture. And all we need to do is use some simple trigonometry to figure out Fn and Fg. So let's do Fn first, and we'll use it over here too. So mg, mass times gravity, we know the mass was 10 kilograms, so 10 times 9.8 meters per second squared is going to be 98 meters per second squared, kilogram meters per second squared, which is the same as a Newton. So Fn, this, sorry, I should have mentioned before, this 20 degree angle here, this is the respective angle in this triangle. So that's 20 degrees in there. So with respect to that angle, Fn is the adjacent side, and the 98 Newtons is hypotenuse. So the ratio that uses adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So cosine of 20 degrees is the adjacent side, Fn over the hypotenuse, which is 98. So in my calculator, I'm just going to go cosine of 20 degrees, and I get that's equal to about 0 0.94, and then I'll multiply by 98, and I get Fn is approximately equal to 92 newtons. 
So remember, our F net was the force of friction. The difference between, I think I'm going to do it the opposite way. I'm going to say it's the difference between the force of gravity and the force of friction. So force of friction was mu Fn, Fn was 92, and our mu was 0 0.2. So 92 times 0 0.2, I get that's equal to about 18.5. So force of friction was 18.5. And all I need to do now is figure out what Fg is, the component of gravity that's affecting my object. So Fg, with respect to this 20 degree angle, Fg is the opposite side. I'm going to use the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use sine. Sine of 20 degrees is opposite, which was Fg over hypotenuse was 98. So sine of 20 is equal to about 0 0.34 times 98. I get that's equal to 33.5. I'm going to plug that in here for Fg, 33.5. So now all we have to do is some pretty simple math. 33.5 minus 18.5 is about equal to 15. So 15 equals 10 times the acceleration. To get acceleration, I just need to divide by 10 on both sides, and I get that acceleration is equal to about 1.5 meters per second squared.